from the BG Podcast Network Studios, brought to you by Chattahoochee Tech, this is your Paulding County News Podcast, bringing our stories to life with news, events, and what we're talking about in Paulding County. Like, follow, and subscribe to hear the latest news from the Paulding County News Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. For you. About you. From you. Call us now to get in on the conversation at 404-997-8655. That's 404-997-8655 or info at bgadgroup.com. And here's what you're talking about. Welcome to your Paulding County News Podcast. I'm Melissa Carter along with Doug Harding. A Paulding County woman finds herself in cuffs for theft, but it's her mugshot that's stealing the spotlight. You won't want to miss the story behind the photo that has everybody talking. And a nationwide recall has health conscious individuals checking their medicine cabinets. Is that popular cough syrup on your shelf? We'll tell you which one it is, but first let's take a look at our top stories. Authorities in Paulding County are seeking the public's help in identifying a woman caught on video causing damage to a church. Authorities say the incident occurred just before 1 a.m. on January 17th at the Missionary Baptist Church in Rockmart. Deputies report that the woman backed her black sedan into the side of the church. Then she left momentarily and returned with another woman. Detectives are eager to speak with these individuals as damage occurred both inside and outside the church. And if you have any information, please contact Paulding County authorities. This from WYFF. In a move to bolster Second Amendment rights, Senator Jason Anavatarte of Dallas, who is the chair of the Senate Majority Caucus in Georgia, has unveiled plans to introduce the Second Amendment Lawsuit Protection Act. This legislation aims to shield property owners and gun manufacturers in the state from frivolous lawsuits. Senator Anavatarte emphasized the importance of upholding the promises made to Georgians during the passage of constitutional carry legislation last session. He stated the only permit Georgians need to carry a weapon in the state of Georgia is the Second Amendment. The proposed act seeks to ensure that businesses and property owners can allow citizens to exercise their Second Amendment rights without the threat of legal action. This from WRGA. America. In business news, BMAX Inc., a private label development company in Dallas specializing in disposable diapers and women's hygienic sanitary products, has achieved a significant milestone. The company has announced its successful registration at a level one supplier with the United Nations Global Marketplace, which is the official procurement unit of the United Nations. The potential contract award value for BMAX is estimated to reach up to $500,000. BMAX Inc. focuses on exporting and distributing private label household products products to emerging markets worldwide. For more information on this company, you can visit their website at bmaxinc.com. This from the Associated Press. Rain, rain, go away. Will it continue for much longer? Doug, what does the weather look like this week? It's all thanks to Angie Chavez Realty. So, Melissa, here's what's happening. Uh, The rain is moving out, but it's going to get... You know, start getting a little bit chillier. So your highs in Dallas today is going to be 48 with a low of 38. Checking out Hiram. Today's high of 49 and low of 39. Monday and Tuesday, we will see some sunshine and highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. That is across Paulding County. I did like some of these spring temperatures. I got to be honest with you, even though it was rainy, but I guess it's still winter. That's all right. 98.7 98.7 Chat Tech, where 98.7% of our students earn a career. So for each of our programs at Chattahoochee Tech, we have an industry advisory committee. Those are people in each given industry that will employ our graduates when they get finished with our program. We have students that are placed at manufacturing companies such as, uh, let's say, Glock, for example, the gun manufacturer, because they have machinery that's running 24-7 to create the guns. So all the way from that to health care where uh, like hospitals, for example, they're running 24 seven and they have machinery that needs to be running 24 seven as well. My program is specifically for students who want to be in healthcare, but maybe don't want patient contact. Maybe they want to be in healthcare in a healthcare field that's recession proof and they're helping people, but maybe they don't want blood, body fluids, any of those elements in their life. So they may choose healthcare management to be on the opposite side of the patient care. Visit ChattahoocheeTech.edu, where 98.7% of our students earn a career.
When it comes to solving complex engineering challenges, there's only one name you need to know, Engineered Solutions of Georgia. Our team of experts has years of experience and uses the latest technology to provide innovative solutions for all your home needs. From foundation repair to waterproofing and drainage solutions, we've got you covered. We work with both residential and commercial clients, and we're committed to providing excellent customer service every step of the way. And with our state-of-the-art equipment and top quality materials, you can be confident that your project will be completed to the highest standard. So why settle for less when you can have the best? Call Engineered Solutions of Georgia today to schedule your free consultation and see how we can help you tackle any engineering challenge. Engineered Solutions of Georgia. We guarantee a stable dry foundation. Residential and commercial. Hey, we do it all. Dial 678 ESOG now. We're back with more of your Paulding County News podcast. From WSB's Facebook page, authorities in Paulding County are on the lookout for a woman accused of submitting nearly 50 fake claims under her pet's health insurance policy. 39-year-old Amanda Lindley is wanted on 96 charges, oh including 48 counts of insurance fraud and forgery. The fraudulent claims amounted to approximately $45,000. Now... William Murchison reflected on many comments about Amanda's mugshot. That is what really got people's attention. And he said, I'm a man, I'm a man, and so is Lola. Because Amanda, (laughs) smugshot, getting attention. Katie Bailey responded, she's handsome. And Michelle Nava was confused by the whole thing. Wait, how? So. Yeah, go uh, go online and look at that report. And uh, let us us know what you think about that, Paulding County. (laughs) From the Paulding County Uncensored Facebook page, Hey neighbors, do you know about this huge development being planned along Seven Hills Boulevard and Gulledge Road? If anyone else is concerned about over 1,100 homes being planned on Seven Hills Road, I encourage you to contact Planning and Zoning, and that person shared a picture of a public notice sign in that area. Well, Amanda Herring said, The lift station is for the sewage system in the county. Whoever is the developer for this community, trying to waive the decision by the county to require an additional lift station, which pushes either water or sewage in lines upwards. Well, that's very informative. (laughs) That's very detailed. Uh, Thomas Gray said, it is necessary because of the growth that has happened around here and adding a lift station will help the wastewater not backing up into the collection system or your home. It's cheaper to build too. You'll probably not even see it or know it's there. But then John Mutos responded, wait, you don't want the 1,100 homes that will continue to increase your home value? I didn't know a lot of that stuff. So uh, I, I got very educated on uh, on this housing thing. So yeah, and a lift station, but because you got to you got to build to help. I don't want sewage in my in my house. So I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm good with that. Right. And I'm good with the higher property value. Well, your weird story of the day comes from Hollywood star Reese Witherspoon making headlines for her unconventional treat, a chococino made of snow. Now, she posted a TikTok video during the blizzards that were going across the country, showcasing the creation with cold brew coffee, chocolate, and salted caramel syrups, and it drew mixed reactions. I've never made coffee or chococino from no. snow, <laughs> but it was like viral. Fans cautioned about the potential dangers of eating snow. <laughs> citing hidden risks and concern about cleanliness. Well, when I was a kid, I ate all kinds of snow. Witherspoon defended her snowy indulgence, highlighting that the melted snow from her backyard appeared clear after microwaving. To me, I was like, did she have to even go that far? And then science weighed in, okay? So scientists came in uh, on the safety of eating snow, and it was deemed that Witherspoon's occasional snowy chococinos are safe. This from Sky News. Well, I would figure she's a huge celebrity. Why would she have to pay attention to science? I mean, aren't aren't celebrities smarter than scientists? <laughs> but I didn't understand why it was just this really, you know, fun. Hey, I know there's a blizzard. Here's what you can do with all this extra snow. And boy, just like anything online, people just pounced on her. Well, I want to know how it tasted. Well, we don't get much snow here, so I think we'll have to just take her word for it. What's happening in Paulding County? We've got you covered. Some events happening here in Paulding County this afternoon, beginning at 2 o'clock, Valentine's Day Modern Calligraphy for Beginners. That's happening at the Farm at Little Fox Hollow in Dallas. 
And Monday, beginning at 6 p.m., the Hiram Academy of Computer Science Parent Night. That is at Hiram High School. And looking ahead to Wednesday from 4 to 10 p.m., Wine Down. Wednesday at Vintage Wine Bar on Main Street in Dallas. Angie Chavez is an experienced real estate agent serving Paulding, Cobb, and other counties in Georgia for 24 years. She is dedicated to serving her clients and has extensive knowledge of the West Georgia real estate market. Angie has won numerous awards for her sales production and is a million-dollar member of the National Board of Realtors. She specializes in new home construction and is an accredited buyer agent. Angie is also passionate about giving back and supporting military, veterans, teachers, and public servants. Whether buying or selling, Angie Chavez with Atlanta Communities is the right choice. Call her today at 404-401-0739 or visit her website at angiechavez.atlcommunities.com. Hey, unlike others, Angie will call you back if you don't reach her the first time. That's 404-401-0739. Life's a constant hustle. In a credit union of Georgia, our focus is crystal clear. It's all about you. Juggling a million things? We get it. That's why we're committed to providing the best service imaginable. We're not just your credit union. We're your financial allies. Knowledge is our power. From crafting basic budget plans to navigating the local home buying scene. Questions popping up? We've got you covered with fast, friendly answers. Because we want you to spend more time living your life. Imagine a financial institution that truly cares. That's Credit Union of Georgia inviting you to join us. If you live, work in Bartow, Cherokee, Cobb, Dawson, Paulden, Pickens, or Union County, we want you as a member of Credit Union of Georgia family. Because here, you're not just a member, you're part of a community that cares. Ready to experience banking that revolves around you? Call us at 678-486-1111 or visit cuofga.org. Credit Union of Georgia, your financial journey, our priority. We're back with more of your Paulding County News Podcast. A popular nationwide brand of cough syrup has been recalled due to potential life-threatening contamination. you got to check your shelves, people. The manufacturer has voluntarily recalled eight lots of Robitussin Honey CF Max Day Adult and Robitussin Honey CF Max Nighttime Adult. I know a lot of people have been sick lately, and if you got this Robitussin, you better go ahead and get something else. The recall comes amid concerns that the products could be tainted with microbes, posing a risk of severe or life-threatening adverse effects, particularly for those who are immunocompromised. The cough syrup is designed to provide temporary relief from flu and cold symptoms, as well as hay fever and respiratory allergies are widely used and probably being used right now. Impacted stores and customers are being directly notified by the manufacturer who is providing instructions for returning the products. Consumers who have purchased the affected cough syrups are urged to stop using them immediately. And so for further guidance, you can always call their customer relations team at 1-800-245-1040. This from The Patch. From the Paulding Sports Chronicle and ESPN, Justin Presley has been named the new head coach at Paulding County High School. Congrats to Justin. Presley comes from the Carter High School in Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. In the NFL, the Falcons have hired former Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris as their new head coach. Yeah, I know. Um, (laughs) Nothing against him, but I think a lot of people... No offense to him, but it's like you're interviewing Bill Belichick and you let that go. Anyway. And in conference championship action this afternoon, it's the Chiefs facing the Ravens at 3 o'clock on CBS, and the Lions take on the 49ers at 6.30 p.m. on Fox. Well, congrats to Samaya Bell, an eighth grader at PB Rich Middle School. She's clinched the title of 2024 District Spelling Bee Champion. I always think of, was it Charlie Brown that did a cartoon when we were kids about spelling bee? He misspelled the word beagle. Oh, yeah. (laughs) You remember that. And that's so ironic. That's great. Well, perhaps Belle's name sounds familiar because she also held this same prestigious title in 2023. Look at her two-timer. In an epic match that began with 27 talented students from various Paulding County School District elementary and middle schools, Samaya showcased her linguistic prowess. The final word that secured her victory was crazing. I don't know what it means, but it didn't seem like a difficult word. But you know what? Made her stand alone as this year's champion. 
Notably, Samaya will be joined by the runner-up, fifth grader Hannah Nelson from W.C. Abney Elementary School as they both advance to the regional competition in February at Georgia Highlands College in Rome. And adding to the celebration, let's talk about the third place winner, fifth grader Osria Scott from Hiram Elementary School. Congratulations to you all. This from the Paulding County School District. Have you ever watched a spelling bee on TV before? I have, and I get and my palms sweat every time. You know, <laughs> there is nothing in this world that'll make a grown person feel dumber than watching elementary and middle school students spell these incredible words flawlessly right. where it's tough for the rest of us to get the first four letters of the word right. It's tough for us to even get a full sentence out, let alone try to spell a big word. <laughs> so kudos to them. And we will have final thoughts after this. Whether you're new to church, have been a Christian for many years, or looking for a fresh start, you're welcome at New Season Church. New Season is a place where people can believe in God, belong to a family of believers, and become fully devoted followers. We exist so that people far from God may experience life in Christ and become fully engaged followers. Join us for one of our two Sunday services, 9 or 11 a.m. Hi, this is Pastor Steve Flockart. Whether you're new to the Paulding community or have been here since the day you were born, New Season Church is a place where all are welcome. From our exciting children and student ministries to our engaging Bible studies and small groups and events, I promise New Season Church has a place for you. New Season Church, just off Highway 278 at 4457 Atlanta Highway in Hiram. We exist so that people far from God may experience life in Christ and become fully engaged followers. New Season looks forward to seeing your entire family this Sunday and feel free to check us out online at newseason.cc. We believe what comes into our minds when we think about God is the most important thing about us. We look forward to seeing you Sunday at 9 or 11 a.m. at New Season Church in Hiram. Thanks for listening to today's Paulding County News Podcast. Follow and subscribe to hear the latest news from the Paulding County News Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. For you, about you, and from you. Get involved in the conversation at 404-997-8655 or info at bgadgroup.com. Did you know over 50% of Americans listen to podcasts weekly? Make sure you join us for our next episode and be sure to share this podcast on social media with your friends and family. Add us to your Alexa flash briefing or your Google Home briefing and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. All rights reserved. This podcast aggregate content from other sources for informational purposes and is in no way trying to infringe on the copyrights or businesses of any other entities. All content posted up on the site is used under the Fair Use Copyright Law 107. All audio, media, and articles are copyrighted to the original owners. All audio on this podcast are embedded from YouTube.com and are owned by the respective copyright owners. No audio information are copyrighted or stored on our servers. The court ruled that linking or embedding copyrighted videos is not copyright infringement, even if the source video was uploaded without permission. However, However, we will gladly remove any audio clip upon valid request from respective copyright owners. Any owners also have the option to disable embedding his YouTube videos on other websites. News and press articles are owned by the respective copyright owners. Where possible, the appropriate accreditation or source of the article is given on the same page. The audio video files on this site are for listening purposes only. Downloading of these files to one's computer is strictly prohibited. They are owned by the respective copyright owners. If it is in the organization's belief that the usage or specific content used on our site containing copyright Operated knowledge conflicts with authorized use and or does not comply with fair use as described in the context, contact us through our contact page and we will remove the offending content immediately. Thanks for listening to the Paulding County News Podcast.